Hey everybody, it's Roz Grease Gaming back, and today I got a video on uh, showing you guys now the finished room, the finished tour of the whole place. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this a little bit here. This is the uh, new 2018 uh, studio, so let's go show you guys what I got here at Roz Grease Gaming. So, you guys get to see the streaming setup and everything else here. So, hope you guys enjoy. Hey everybody, so I promised you a whole show of the whole setup, so this is the new Rise Grease 2018 setup. Um, still a lot of stuff off and on I can like put away like random parts, but everything's pretty much wired up and ready to go. Um, not really needing to adjust much more. Maybe a few little parts and upgrades down the line, but everything's pretty much the way I envisioned the studio nice and clean very well organized ready to go for the day and get going and get started with working on videos or watch or do a live streams or helping out people when when they need stuff done or something like that so I have a lot of ways to get in stuff so let's go dive into what I got here and you guys show you what I really have back here under the hood so starting on the left we have um, I have a charger here that runs three USB cables, and also plugged into the side is my PlayStation 4 charger. You guys can get one of these. All I do is just push down and start charging your uh, your controllers. Really easy, really good to handle with, and once they're fully charged, you're ready to go. Just pull them off and ready to go. Of course, next set is my Google Home, so I can listen to news or check up on any questions okay, I have. Google. When's the next New Jersey Devils hockey game? The Devils will play the Flyers today at 7 p.m. And I can check up on all kinds of stuff like that or listen to music. Next set, of course, is my PlayStation 4 Pro. Prepare for those times you want to do some console games. No problem with mine is the power button doesn't work. So, the only way to turn it on is either by a controller or by hitting the eject button and then working on it that way. Of course, there was Black Ops 3 in the cartridge from when I first got the console, but... Hey, it's a game. It's fun to play. And like I said, here, I'm pushing the power button. Nothing. But it still works perfectly fine, so I can't complain. Now this is one of my fun little goodies I've gotten. Uh, I got the Doom Limited Edition, so it can be a Doom statue. And if you pull off the back, hiding off the side of the statue, and turn the switch on, it'll light up with this nice fan illuminating the bottom of the Doom statue, which is pretty badass looking. <laughs> I love that darn thing. Uh, of course, uh, next to that also is our... Um, if I put that dang thing away, there we go. Um, over next to it is my also my blue Yeti. I use this for uh, getting the audio from the PS4, talking to people, or a secondary mic for any other projects that I need for uh, work on stuff. Eventually, I'm going to replace that and get something else for the setup, but it works for now. And then, of course, the first uh, newer generation consoles I personally owned, it is the Xbox One, the original model. Uh, of course, D-Brand, uh, going to change some of the colors, but that's it. And it's all plugged into that switch over there. It's a three-way HDMI switch that can run all the different controls. Of course, below that, we have some, uh, some like, random glasses for taking drinks and stuff like that while I'm streaming, so I kind of long run. I also have a mixer from Banger that later down the line we can use for mixing all the audio channels for streamings or all kinds of video work. And of course every living console that I've owned personally so far. A PS2, uh, original Xbox 360, uh, well not original but close enough, a PlayStation 2, PlayStation original, a Wii, and a Super Nintendo which I've had for since I was a child. And I can plug those all in. Next to that, also in the back, is also this nice tote that I've been using. I got these dirt cheap. It's basically just some Tupperware, but it, in there I've organized everything from screw parts to tools for, to fans for computers, placed power supply cables, and of course a bunch of random bins underneath that I have in there for storage, including like hard drives and other utensils, including some old keyboards that I am actually currently trying to get rid of and selling. Um, next to that, also course I said before in the video previously that I have hooks for headphones so on the back I also have the uh, Audio Technica MX40s on the side here for editing videos or audio 
getting the work done. And of course I have some new Mach DJ headphones, which <sighs> not as good as I think they are. Of course I have a swing arm for a TV for while I'm chilling in the, uh, the bedroom, if I need to work on some stuff. Uh, of course, also if I need a fresh cup of coffee, I have some coffee mugs, including uh, one that has my logo, yours truly, Raz on the side. Thanks, Marks the Dogo, for getting us that coffee uh, mug for us. And, uh, of course, my Keurig coffee machine. That way uh, I can have a fresh cup of coffee or tea while I'm streaming or doing video games. Now, let's get on to this setup, this large, massive desk I have here. Uh, we got ourselves, uh, of course, a keyboard, mouse, wireless headset, a PC, and three monitors. Let's dive into that. Um, on the desk, we have a drawer over here. We have on the side here on the top some controllers, including the Xbox One. Everything's organized to each console line. So there's the Xbox One. Below that is actually some more stuff. And uh, underneath there is like the Wii U and some random older stuff, like a jailbroken PSP and a. Uh, a couple Game Boy Colors. <laughs> I can't believe I still have them. Um, every single living, breathing Super Nintendo controller. Of course, below that as well as the original PlayStation controllers. And last but not least, of course, is the original Xbox 360 controllers, which of course I'm going to have to walk through because some of them are actually kind of broken for me playing so hardcore. Now on my right side, there's a little different. It's a little more of like maintenance utility stuff. So like CDs for doing computer repairs and running programs or random cables for parts and stuff like that needed for installing audio stuff. Um, below that, just random other stuff like light bulbs to replace the lights for the streaming room. And of course our um, mobile video gear like GoPros and stuff like that. And of course the bottom really is just more random stuff like chargers and random headsets. I'm still going to go through and we'll put more stuff away with that. Now let's go back up top here and actually show you guys what I have up here. Uh, up here is our main monitor. It's an ASUS uh, VG245G I think it is. It's all 1080p 144Hz display and on top of that is a Logitech C920 I believe it's called and then of course the Blue Yeti we use for streaming. Really good streaming gear if you need. Really fast 24 hertz refresh rate monitor. 144 hertz, sorry. Um, I don't know even why I said that. Of course, it is ASUS. Um, below that, that's actually an old hard drive for an old computer that's broken, so I ripped it apart and turned it into like a mantle. Below that, also to my right, is another 24 inch Acer, but the ASUS, but this one is only 60 hertz, so. Really good enough for really good for 100% for gaming, but does the trick. And then, of course, the other one's a gateway, which is not 24 inches, but I am looking to replace this and become all three to 24 inch monitors so they would all be the same size and shape and weight, pretty much, and close enough. So, peripheral wise, oh wait, no, actually, my apologies, this is my gaming rig, I should say. <laughs> This is the rig we have. We have an Intel 7700 in there, uh, a 970 air cooled everything. It has a 860 watt power supply by uh, Corsair. It has multiple 120 millimeter fans to blow in and out the air, which run really well. We also have the new SG100 RGB headphone stand from Corsair. Uh, wired up with my wireless headset that I have, of course, your Void RGB limited edition, so it's yellow. Wouldn't be too fan of it, probably would have picked white or silver or uh, black, but yellow it is, and it works fine for me. I mean, the whole set's designed just not for editing, but also streaming, as you can see, where I could just set up the program, get everything ready to go, and just stream right off the bat into streaming with you know playing warships or playing other games that we have for the setup here and even if we don't want to play pc games we we're not sure we have tons of pc games we could play and on top of that if we get tore tired of the pc games i have multiple console games i mean look at all these console titles we could play including the halo series bioshock series Call of Duty, there's a lot of categories to deal with, and even if we want to even backtrack even more, there is multiple PlayStation and Super Nintendo cartridges that we can play and stream, but that's pretty much 
everything there, including I got some random statues and everything else laying around. Of course, different hats for us when we're streaming and different stuff we have chilling. And of course, I got some old amps and for guitar and stuff like that, because sometimes I like to just chill and play a little bit of guitar. But that's pretty much the whole setup. So that's the tour, guys. Ross Grease Gaming here. So if you guys like this place, hey, if you have any questions about the stuff I have here, gear I use, just hit that, hit that in the comments down below what I use, anything like that if you guys are interested. As always, you guys can follow me on, uh, subscribe here to the channel if you guys want to see more content other than just me doing the vlog videos and uh, shooting you all the cool stuff we got here. Uh, also, you can also see me on Twitter. I'm always on there if you want to see me blogging and yelling about something, warships or something else. And also, of course, you can also see me in Twitch. You know, I'm live streaming most sometimes. Um, usually for a good like four or five hours a day so you guys can always talk to me on there if you want it's all times uh, all kinds of good stuff you guys can see me so as always hope you guys enjoyed the video see you in the next one Raz out